All right, so playing single notes on the guitar, different than chords, and that you're playing one note at a time. And we're gonna start our single note learning process by playing a C major scale. And the C major scale is a great tool, not just for practicing single notes, but also warming up your fingers when you sit down and ready to play the guitar. So unlike a chord, we're just gonna pick one note at a time, all in downstrokes. The C major scale is common for warm-ups on all instruments. You've probably heard the Do, Re, Mi. And uh, it contains the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. So if you've played piano before, you know these are all the white keys on the piano. So we're gonna start with the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. And we're gonna go three, then on the next string, O or open, two, three, then on the next string, O, two, and then on the next string, O, one. So when I say O, I mean open, and then I'm referring to the finger numbers. So on the fifth string, three, on the fourth string, O, two, three, on the third string, O, two, and on the second string, O, one. Three, O, oh, two, three, O, oh, two, O, oh, one. So this is one octave of the C major scale, meaning we play eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we end on the same note that we started on, but one octave higher. So we start on a C, and we end on a C. So once you develop a good, clear sound with each note, you can gradually increase the tempo or speed that you use to play the scale. So I highly recommend that when you practice, you use a metronome. A metronome is a great tool to use to sort of gauge your progress. So whether it's an old school metronome or an electronic metronome or a metronome app on your phone, It'll help keep you in time and give you a number, in this case beats per minute, that you can use to gauge your progress and give you a number of, so you can see the speed that you're playing at and increase it only when you feel comfortable. So it's a general rule of thumb. Something I learned from my first guitar teacher is to play something at a certain tempo, specific tempo, four times perfectly. And if you can play it four times perfectly, then you can speed up the tempo on your metronome and practice it at the newer, faster tempo. If you mess up on the third time, you gotta start all over. If you mess up on the fourth time, you gotta start all over. If you get it four times perfectly, then and only then can you move on. So here's a metronome. Uh, this is a digital metronome. And I've set it to 60 beats per minute. So you can hear it clicking. So I'm gonna practice the C major scale at this tempo, playing one note per click, quarter notes. So if you played at that tempo and feel comfortable, you can then increase the speed on your metronome to something like 70 beats per minute. So on and so forth, and that will help you really have a nice number that you can assign to where you are in your progress and move on from there. So this C major scale demonstrates playing in position. Every note in the scale that is played on the third fret, is played with your third finger. Every note in the scale that's on the second fret is gonna be used with your second finger, and every note that's on the first fret, you're gonna use your first finger. This is called playing in position, and it's a lot more efficient. If you were to use your first finger on every note of the scale, it looks pretty silly, and it also prevents you from actually being able to play a lot faster. So if you wanna really have the most efficient use of your hands, You want to stay in position. And you'll notice that my hand is not actually moving that much. My thumb is staying in the same position. And it's just my fingers that are moving. 
not my hand. If I was doing it with one finger, you'll see my hands moving all over the place. So you wanna kinda decrease the amount of motion that your hand is gonna go through in this process. You'll actually see how the C chord is right out of this shape. So it's very important to play in position. By using these proper fingerings, it's gonna be much easier to play the scales and link them to their root chord shapes. So now that we have the full C major scale from C to C, let's expand it to the full range of this position. So we're gonna start with the lowest note of a C major scale that we can get on the guitar. In this case, it's gonna be a low E. So we'll play E, the low sixth string, open. F, first finger on the first fret of the sixth string. G, open A. B with your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And then we're back into the scale that we already know. Then when we get to the top, the C that we're used to playing with our first finger on the first fret of the second string, we're gonna keep going and play D with your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Open E, F with your first finger on the first fret of the first string, all the way up to G. And that way we're in this position and we've basically maximize from low to high in this playing position. And there are other positions as we move up the neck, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on this open position, playing position, based off the C chord. So let me play it by myself one time all the way through. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once you play the scale from low to high, you can play it back down. 